Billy Joe and Liam Smith don't sell tickets, do they? So, I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what to make of it. But they don't sell tickets. So they're going to have to go on the road, aren't they? But Frank Warren keeps going on about how he wins purse bids. Well, Billy Joe Saunders and Andrade, their people have come together to make a decision for the fight to be in America. So Billy Joe Saunders is going to fight in America on an Eddie Hearn show. <laughs> so Frank's main guy that he's got are all these world champions, because middleweight's a glamour, it's one of the seven original weights, it? it's a glamour weight, isn't it? You know, like the lightweight, you know, well, lightweight, the welterweight, the middle, the heavy, they're, they're like main weights for years, weren't they? Middleweight's a glamour weight, glamour weight division, you know, you had your you know, Agler, Ernst, Leonard, Duran, all them guys, middleweights, but for some reason, Billy Joe Saunders is going on the road to fight on an Eddie Hearn show on a purse bid that Frank Warren's people and Eddie's people sorted out without going to bids. What's all that about? When Frank got with BT Sport, he was going to blow everybody away and kill us all in our beds. When Eddie got the billion dollar deal, Eddie billion dollar Hearn, you'd think Eddie Hearn would want to blow him out of water, wouldn't you, with these purse bids, but he hasn't, has he? Shout out to Kay Official, thanks for the tracky top. I had it on today, but sleeves are a bit too long. So I'm gonna get them took up at my tailors. But it's nice, got white tassel down, the full zip up and that. I like these, but it's different to these. You can have too many of the same thing, so thanks, Paul. But uh, but no, I'm not I'm not buying any of this uh, Eddie Hearn and Frank. Look, they need each other at the moment. And I don't think Eddie's got a billion dollars. People, does the owner say they've got all this money? Well, have they? Why didn't, why didn't Eddie say, no, no, it's going to purse this, Frank. Did Frank not have the money? I mean, Eddie must have known that Billy Joe Saunders had to go abroad for this fight. Because my mate went to that fight where, where Billy had recently in Paisley, wasn't it? There was no one there. He's fought at Copper Box. We Liam Smith on the same show, on it, or was it somewhere else? There was nobody there. Is it a pro is it a promotion thing? Is Frank not doing his job? Because Liam Smith's a tough kid and he can fight, can't he? Billy Joe Stone's got all skills and skills on it under the sun. What's happening? Are they being promoted? Right. What? I don't. I don't understand it. I don't understand it all. I don't understand it all, but. It looks like everybody's happy, but nobody dare give an opinion on it, I dare. My opinion is this, Frank Warren, I think you bottled it with purse bid, I don't think you've got the money. I think your BT sport deal's built on a swamp. That's my opinion, Frank. I think it's built on a swamp, and that's basically it, really. I think it's built on a swamp, I just, I do. Uh, I don't think Box Nation were uh, doing as good as what he said. They're giving loads of dates out to people now, aren't they? So that's good, isn't it? If somebody can use that platform. But in my opinion, this BT Sport deal, where's. What, what, what's happening with it? I don't understand. Where, where's the pay per view on it? Where's the pay per view model, Frank? There's no pay per view model on it, is there? So, but. I don't know. We're going back to Bellew. Is it going to be Bellew against Ersk at £200? If it is, Tony Bellew, take a bow. Take a bow, Tony Bellew. You're going to be fighting a guy who's, uh, who's the pound for pound top guy in the cruiserweight division and you are WBC champion Emirates, so you say. I don't know, I mean, it's been two years on it now. I mean, how could you still be champion Emirates? Could you be champ? Could is Vladimir's brother Vitaly still champion Emirates? How long does champion Emirates last? They make it up as they go along, don't they? 
Is Tyson Fury still Ring Magazine champion? Tyson's all over the news saying he's going to fight Wilder. Don't do it, Tyson. Not this year. You need another year. But getting back to the Frank Warren against Tony Bell, you spat on talk sport with Alan Brazil. He's a casual, isn't he, Alan Brazil? You've got Tony Bell, you right, on talk sport. Now, it's only a few years ago he used to send Frank Warren text messages and put a love heart at the end saying, I love you, Frank. You're a great fella and all that. No wrong with that, Tony. No wrong with that. But he was paying you then, money. You're going to love him when you're writing your checks out. But all of a sudden, they fell out. Now, Tony Bell, who's on TalkSport, he's defending Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua and match room on TalkSport. Because he's the spokesman, Tony Bell, you. He has become the spokesman for match room. Well, it looks like he has to me. He was defending them. No, no, you've got it all wrong, Frank. No, that didn't happen. Well, good luck on my timeline, Tony Bellew, and good luck who followed me. Some, one of my probably last 30th followers or something in the last seven days. Good luck who's followed me. And you'll see why one of Wilder's management team followed me. And I've DM'd him, and I can assure you, Tony, that that offer were genuine. The 50 million were there. They were offered. They were knocked back. The goalposts were moved. Yeah, you felt that you, you needed it in the UK. You felt that you, you deserved the right to defend the belt in the UK. Yeah, of course you did, Joshua. Of course you did. But you'll go to, but you'll go to America and fight Baby Miller. <laughs> yeah. But you'll not go there and fight Wilder for three times as much. Yeah, it's only, it's only 35 million extra. Come on. Come on, get with program. Come on. We all know, right, Joshua didn't want to fight Ortiz. They sent poor Dave Allen out to fight him, didn't they? They didn't want to fight him. Or the other one, Malik Scott. Eddie had him all tied up, didn't he, then? Ortiz, but do box rec number one. WBA interim. Why didn't Eddie scream to get him moved up? He did Scott Quigg. Because Vladimir wanted WBA belt in the pot, didn't he, when he fought Joshua? Ortiz had to step aside, didn't he? So Ortiz steps aside from Vladimir, he stepped aside from Joshua, and he stepped aside from Wilder once. He's either step aside, man. Do you think Wilder wants to fight Ortiz again? Who knows, maybe he might fight Tyson Fury. It's all ifs and buts, isn't it? We're all guessing because we don't really know. But when push comes to the push, Joshua didn't want to fight Ortiz, did he? They wouldn't mention his name. Like they don't mention Wilder's name now. But when Joshua said he wanted 50 million, they, took, they shut his Twitter down and Eddie Hearn went out on a big media drive. All he's got to do is get Ed Coogan Cassius, Michelle Phelps, fight hype, get all them in his pocket, and then get them to spread the gospel. Shelley Finkel, Lou DiBella and Al Heyman, they kept the powder dry, didn't they? They've not been shouting and bawling, have they? They showed a couple of emails to a couple of people in, in the know, and that's how they go about the business. They're big dogs. They are big, big dogs in boxing. Shelley Finkel were Mike Tyson's manager. Did he have something to do with Lennox Lewis Tyson fight, which were one of the biggest ever pay-per-views ever? So, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they bottled it. Joshua bottled that 50 million. I don't ever want to talk about it again. As regards Bellew, what is his legacy going to be if he don't fight Ersk at 200 pound? What's his legacy going to be if he drags him up to heavyweight? Eh? He said, I can't fight Wild and he's too big. But I'll fight Tyson Fury, whose arms are longer and he's taller and heavier. <laughs> what? Hey? Dave Caldwell said, I want Tony to retire. Tony gets offered more money. I don't want him to retire. He's better than ever. He can go on for another five fights. Look, these people, they change their minds like the wind. 
They change their mind. As soon as the checks come in, they change their mind. They have a, they have, they have a, a, a clash of conscience. Oh my God, yeah. Tony will take that fight. He's stronger, he's faster, he's quicker. It's like when Barry Hearn well, got a phone call. They said, does Steve Davies drink coffee? He said, no, he don't drink it. He said, would he drink it for a million pounds? He said, Steve Davies loves coffee. Money makes you do crazy things. Crazy, crazy things. It makes you lose your mind, makes you lose your shit. Makes you do crazy things and take crazy risks. Some people don't take crazy risks. But some people do. Now, as far as I am concerned, Bellew's CV is terrible. British Commonwealth European and World Champion. Vacant. Three pay-per-views. Terrible. One dragged up in weight. Other, other guy were inactive and they were all, all smashed to bits. Shot to death. I want to see Bellew test himself. I want to see him fight Dillian White. I want to see him fight Ersk at £200. I want to see him in with Wilder. I want to see him in with Tyson Fury. I want to see these fights. I don't want to hear Dave Caldwell coming out with his retiring. I want him to retire. Dave, you don't want him to retire. You like money too much. You don't want him to retire. You're pinching money. Pinching money, in it? These pay-per-views. Bellew and Davey Day, they hated each other. Then they fought. Then they hugged and kissed. Then they made the next fight, they hated each other, then they hugged and kissed again, and then they're hugging and kissing, and then laughing all the way to the bank, and laughing and joking on Sky overnight. It's a business. It's a business. These people don't care about you, the fans. Look, we're just the, I'm just, me and Rico do this channel, we're just the alternative noise. 